I know when most of you see the title of this video, they'll be like, Hey Harris, I thought we've already done the voiceover video. Yeah, I know. But remember in the first video when I said, and also sadly, I really wanted to feature a friend that does voiceover so she could come and explain everything to you. Well, she made it. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi, I am Blessing Kure and I'm a multimedia personality, professional voiceover artist, and a YouTuber. Well, Harris did put me up to this. He said to speak about being a voiceover actor. I have been a voiceover actor for the past six years. I started my radio presenting journey, which was the official interaction I had with voicing with the media at um, about six years ago as well. And as a radio presenter, it's just part of the job for you to come to work and have a script waiting for you. So, oh, could you quickly just voice this continuity announcement, program schedules, radio jingles, radio dramas, short dramas, all those things are just part of a day's job. That's just part of the work for me. I never knew that voice acting was a thing on its own, was an industry that could stand on its own. So I just did these voiceovers and also helped people do their voiceovers. Um, for friends of mine that had businesses were like, oh, could you help me just voice this jingle? And I was like, oh, okay. I, I, I mean, people say my voice was nice, so I just did the voicing um, freely up until the point where I realized that it was a really creative industry that could be key into. Thanks to freelancing website, it's easier to grow your followership and grow your business as a voice actor. So top, you probably know Fiverr already, you probably know Upwork, there's True Lancer, there's Voices, Voice Bunny, there's Voices One, Two, Three. I'm not on all those ones, I'm just listing. The list is endless. Endless, I think. The important thing is there's a demand for this market. Do you think it's an oversaturated market? Probably it's getting saturated now, but it is definitely where you can try. There's always room for one more person. So yes, I do my voiceovers in English. I do house voiceovers as well. I'm pigeon voiceovers. I do African accent and I do Igbo accent. I do Yoruba accent, um, South African accent. I'm just working on a couple of accents as well, um, depending on how it goes. Sometimes you get a job and you have to learn on the job because every job is unique and no client is the same. You have to know the difference and be able to tailor your creativity to fit exactly what your client wants. Because A said this was good, doesn't mean B is going to think this was good. So that kind of versatility gave me an edge over a lot of people because it's something I could do. And for those that are doubting, welcome to the Sunana Blessing Kure. And the vision is, what's in a soft now? And I get blessing to you. Hi, Devina. And all that. So it's something you would um, get into character, of course, and try to create exactly what you want to um, show for. A lot of the voiceover jobs I did when I started out were from referral, in-person referrals, because working at a radio station did have its benefits. So you have walking clients, and the radio station would pay me to do voiceovers for certain advertisements and that went on for a while before I discovered freelance websites and yes everybody can be a voiceover actor it just takes practice it takes a lot of dedication it takes a lot of research because you just need to be able to get into character you have to do your vocal trainings and all those things that you need to do it's because you just don't wake up and just go hello I am listening to it no you, there are things you do there, there are exercises you do before voicing the key are. It's not always pretty. Your face isn't always pretty when you voice, by the way. I should add that so you don't feel funny when you're practicing. A lot of us think you must have a certain accent to speak. But ironically, there are jobs that will require you to not have a certain accent to speak. And there are jobs that will require you to um, be a little more natural in your delivery. So that's a lot different. Like, say for instance, you say, oh, be sad. How sad woman? In a, in a movie, let's say an animation. I don't know. So you impersonate this thing. It's just it's interesting because I love movies. I love movies and growing up I love cartoons. So getting an opportunity to just do what I love is amazing. And as well, a lot of problems people have with voice acting is how to determine the rates because pricing services can be quite difficult. Um, those are things if you do proper research on, you could definitely find tips on. You could learn everything on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, then you're sitting on a whole institution. You could learn anything on YouTube. So feel free to go on YouTube and check Beginner's Guide to Be a Voiceover Actor, Beginner's Guide to Be a Producer, Beginner's Guide to Using Adobe Audition, to Using Audacity, to Using GarageBand. All these app softwares will help you edit your voiceover and you can take courses online, you can take courses on edX or Udemy and I'll probably roll out a voiceover course as well real soon just to give you a guide because stuff I wish I knew that there was anyone that was offering that tailored to our Nigerian 
point right now so i'll probably do that and i hope you've learned a thing or two from my journey and thank you very much harris for having me i'm also a youtuber so feel free to check out my youtube channel i'm a travel and lifestyle vlogger at blessing career um that's big cases on youtube and blessing career on instagram facebook and twitter i hope you've learned a thing or two about voice acting and the possibility of you considering a new career path in this industry if there's anything you would want to know as well don't forget you could drop a comment i'll be in the comment section replying your comments so do feel free to check out my channel and check me out on all my social media handles at blessing Kure as well bye bye thank you to blessing for taking time off your very busy schedule to be here with us we really appreciate this so i'm sure you guys have learned a lot from this video and if you did learn a lot from this video don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and also subscribe to Blessings channel. And also make sure you comment down below this video because she will be there to reply every single comment. I'll post a link to her channel down there. You guys should make sure you go and subscribe to her channel. And go ahead and start voiceover because I too am thinking of going into voiceover. But anyway, see you in the next video.